Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. There. Ah, yes. You just can't help but break things, can you? Memory serves. The Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
something ahead. See, lad? He's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Hey, Sindri. Check this out. My, we're excited to spend some hack silver, aren't we? Oh, the travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm, smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? Uh, wait, no, yes, yes, come in. Until we meet again, my friends. Will you focus on your death? You quit that shit. I mean it. He went to war with Uncle and walked away. Maybe. Uncle had three straight years. But as long as father believes him, so do he. So you will stop talking. Focus and help me. Can't disappoint father. Oh, smack your boy. No, no, we can't always <laughs> disappoint father. Keep looking. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. <sighs> Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go. And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Us. What does Odin want? Oh no, don't care. Come here, half free. You done know that dad. Shut up! Don't call me that! Trying to rile you up. 
Boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. 
Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> go through here. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take Wait, utmost care here. while handling it. It is a priceless relic after all.
I don't think the lad's doing too well. He's fine. <laughs> if so, then keep up. Yes, sir. Back to life. That is interesting. <laughs> it's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. The giant's head. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across.
There is an opening. I can get it. There's a path to the exit on the other side. Back under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant, rode a giant falling hammer, fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. I see something over there. Another one here. Ah, you know this one, don't you? It's Tamu, the giant stonemason. Is he building a wall around Jotunheim? It was to be his masterwork. He only wanted to protect his people. Too bad the first part got burned. I prefer the last panel was burned. Such a senseless pity. Like, like a prison. That would explain the hefty magical lock on the outside. But it's more than that. I have this feeling like something is waiting for us down here. You've a knack for ominous statements, lad. What kind of something? I'm not sure. 
Something powerful. Whatever you feel, boy, we will handle it. We have come this far, yes? Yes, father. Atreus, follow me. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. It seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. saying Thor is half god and half giant? That's so weird. Aye, but Odin and Fjordun's love was true. Once Fjordun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted in this bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. Granted us so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Well, he won Freya's trust, and she taught in some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. <laughs>
skill continues to grow.
here. I know I saw something. I saw it too. Rhea did say the Jotunheim realm tower was missing from the lake. But maybe only kind of? Very strange indeed. <laughs> <laughs> 